might find this a bit unsettling. Here we have an egg case full of mantis eggs. What's inside when you cut open this egg case? Vicious science. Last autumn, we captured a praying mantis to explore its characteristics. Surprisingly, it laid eggs, and we recorded the event. After filming, unsure of what to do next, we stored the eggs in our coldest outside storage room. If mantis eggs are kept warm, they can hatch prematurely during the winter, at a time when survival is tough, so it's crucial to mimic natural conditions as closely as possible. When spring arrived and I moved the egg case, what do you know? It hatched instantly. Shocking, isn't it? I knew certain conditions had to be met for hatching, but as soon as I brought it indoors, it happened right away. When I took one out to observe, it was quite adorable. Praying mantises experience incomplete metamorphosis, meaning they look almost like adults from birth. Before reaching adulthood, they lack only wings. These develop when they molt into adults. Keeping them in a confined space led to cannibalism. So I released the hatchlings back into the wild, where I originally found the adult mantis. You might worry about releasing so many at once, but it's not an issue. Each egg case can produce hundreds of young, and a female may lay multiple cases. However, in nature, the survival rate of these numerous offspring to adulthood is quite low. Therefore, only a very small number of these baby mantises will survive to reach adulthood. It's a harsh reality, but it's also a natural aspect of the ecosystem that prevents them from becoming overly populous. Even those that reach adulthood typically perish in the cold winter. Thus, like plants dispersing seeds, praying mantises have evolved these distinctive egg sacs to ensure their species survives the winter and avoids extinction. The egg sacs of praying mantises have developed a unique shape suited to this survival strategy. Now, let's dissect and explore a mantis egg sac. Upon close inspection, you'll immediately notice these thread-like structures these marks are left when the baby mantis exits the egg case. As they emerge, they create a thread-like support to hang from the egg case, preventing immediate falls to the ground and potentially being carried away by the wind. Interesting, isn't it? Next, we cut open the egg case to see inside. The exterior of the egg case is extremely tough. This robust shell protects against parasites and predators. Inside, the egg has a porous structure, creating an air layer that helps endure dryness and cold. Isn't that scientifically intriguing? Praying mantises are taxonomically close to cockroaches, which also encase their eggs similarly. A bit unsettling, isn't it? Looking at the cross-section of the egg case, you'll see long, tubular grooves. These are made by the emerging baby mantis, which uses a special enzyme to dissolve the case as they come out. Isn't that bizarre? The individuals emerging from the egg case go through several molts before becoming adults, and there are many interesting aspects to the structure of a mantis's body. That's all for this video. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to our channel. Fishy Science is dedicated to unraveling the mysteries of the world through science.